as we leave our quarantines behind and enter our quarantwenties, here's one simple appeal. Stop being cunts. We're often brought up and fed media, all of which goes into the idea that when bad shit happens, people pull together. Doesn't seem very true right now, does it? Adversity seems to turn a lot of people into horrible cunts. If 2020 is to us anything, it's that the scorn of the right masks their own insecurities and determination to sabotage anyone else from even trying to do good in the world, and that the scorn of the left masks their authoritarian tendencies, at least in their modern incarnation. Covid was obviously the big thing this year, and while it's been fun, yeah fun, watching celebrities lose their minds after one intermittent year of what my life has been like for over 13 years, the glister has begun to wear off that as well. We've learned that should there ever be a zombie apocalypse, people will be marching to demand their right to be bitten and holding mass meetings in mortuaries and graveyards, decrying the whole thing as a conspiracy, even as they feel a, a nagging, ever-increasing appetite for brains. This whole year has been a confederation of assholes, from anti-vaxxers and Covid deniers to butthurt American Republicans to crowing Brexiteers, for whom it still hasn't sunk in just what they've done to their own country. You've got wingnut assholes on one side and simpering woke scolds on the other, all of whom have had a year of nothing better to do than to harass and ruin people over fuck all, whether it be singing song lyrics or having a slightly different idea of what a better world looks like. Fuck those fuckers. To round out the year perfectly, a coalition of anti-porn activists and credit card companies have successfully sabotaged Pornhub and now set their sights on OnlyFans, two sources of income that have only increased in importance during the pandemic and the attendant job insecurity, and all of this on the largely spurious fictions of endemic sex trafficking, revenge porn and an underage material. It's not like anything is going to change magically overnight. 2020 to 2021 isn't a binary. It exists on a spectrum, a blend. The same old shit is going to carry forward for at least six months, much longer, if you cunts don't stay home, wear a mask and get vaccinated. That doesn't seem particularly hopeful at this point, does it? We've already given the virus room to mutate into more virulent forms. Well done. Brexit's going to bite, but I don't hold out much hope of the Gaminati having any sort of sudden revelation about just how badly they've shit the bed. And fuck, before the month is out, there's still plenty of time for Trump's sycophants to bollocks up the transition of power in the US to the lesser evil. Not exactly anything to be enthusiastic about, but better. Here's a resolution for everyone. Stop being cunts engage your conscious minds, consider the effect that you have on others. Even if you're an individualist, you have to admit that society is made up of individuals and the actions of one individual impinge on others. Fat chance. I don't know what I'm going to do this year. I normally enter the year with a bit of a enthusiasm and oomph, and as a result, things happen before tapering off rapidly after three months. This year, I'm bitter, annoyed, angry, unmotivated, and uninspired. We'll see how that shakes out, but what better way to start than with a frank exchange of views? Jog on, 